Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do know. And today we are starting a new series, maybe. Um, essentially, I thought it would be fun, maybe, to go through large retailers like H&M, um, Madewell, ASOS, Bloomingdale's Anthropology, these are all the ones on my list, Macy's, which we're doing today, and see what their plus size selection is like, and rate their plus size selection compared to the other availabilities for women's clothing. So I have some criteria that I wrote down here on my phone. Okay, so my criteria for rating a store. How many plus size to straight size items are there? Is the plus size department easy to find on their site? What is the size range in the plus size department? I.e. do they stop at 3x? Do they go up to 5x, 6x? Um, you know, is there no plus size department? Who knows? Do they have wide width shoes? Which is always something I look for, but I don't know. I'm not a, I am, not everybody needs wide width, wide width shoes when they're plus size, but adding wide widths is the next step in being inclusive. So, would I actually purchase anything that's available in my size? And if there's nothing available in my size, then we have the answer to that. So that's my criteria, and if we do this again, um, that's how I'll be judging the next one. So, uh, I've literally never purchased anything from Macy's. They ship to Canada. I've never, I've been in one store when I visited New York City, like, I don't know, a long time ago. And so, I have very little experience with Macy's at all. I should say that these videos aren't meant to, like, bash these retailers, but they want my money. So I feel like they should at least attempt to do a good job. And uh, yeah, anyway, so we're going uh, shop by department, let's go women's, plus sizes. So they have a plus size. Um, so already I can see like the women's clothing is broken down all new active wear bras you know lingerie cashmere coats and jackets dresses jeans jumpsuits rompers loungewear pajamas and robes pants and capris skirts sweaters swimsuits cover-ups tops then the plus size is all plus all trendy plus okay um coats jackets dresses tops I'm confused but we're just gonna click on all plus size to start off with already I hate this top this white one with I don't know uh, faux leopard trim this is pretty awesome by I think it's Nina Parker looks like okay so um, there are in the total there's three thousand four hundred and six plus size item Ooh, this Nina Parker plus size pleather jumpsuit. I mean, I would quite literally never wear this because the squeaking between my thighs is that like rubbed together. But I love that they actually include some fashion forward things. So um, also keep in mind, obviously it says the prices on here, but it's in Canadian dollars because it's no, it knows I'm in Canada. Let's see what the size range is. So it goes up to a 4X, that's good. And it's like 4X, not 4XL. We all know 4XL is not really 4X. It's not the same. So, um, obviously, like, it's pleather, so that's going to be hot and sweaty. But I am not the one wearing it. So, I just like that there's actually fashionable things. This is a really beautiful dress. I despise the feel of velvet. It's like a sensory thing. But this is still really pretty. Only goes up to a 22. So Betsy and Adam, not necessarily 
a, I'm sorry, that's my dog in the background. She's just come inside and is full of beans. Um, Michael Kors. Why do you hate fat people? What is this? Oh my god, no. I love leopard print as much as the next person. In fact, I probably love it more than the next person. But this is meant to be worn under the house and it literally looks like a nightgown I own. Um, up to a 3X. I mean, uh, Michael Kors is supposed to be like affordable designer, I guess. I have no idea. Like, this is just, I hate this. And look, it comes in more colors. Comes in hot pink. That really does look like a nightgown. Um, no. Uh, and this actually is a nightgown right here. So, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So keep, let's keep scrolling. I like this denim jacket. Uh, price is actually something I would pay for that denim jacket. Like, I would actually pay that. Um, t up to 24. Eh, I mean, no, that's not good enough. There's definitely... Ma'am, could you calm down? I'm trying to talk to the people. Um, there's a weird, uh, juxtaposition of, like, just not modern plus size right next to what modern plus size women want or are looking for. Um, and then you scroll down and find more Michael Kors where it says Michael Kors diagonally all over the shirt. I just, I can't. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh... Michael Kors really leaned into the leopard this year or this season. Ooh, I like this sweater. I just, I don't know, I've had a thing for sleeves. Why? Why is it only up to 3x? Like, I would definitely buy this. Okay, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Um, mm, why? Why does this exist? Yeah, Michael Kors, I just, can you just step away from, I don't know, everything right now? Ooh, okay. So, formal wear is something plus size people really struggle with, and they'll continue to struggle with, because this only comes up to a 20. Uh, escape, um, I know TikTok loves you, but can you please just make more sizes? You would make a ton of money. Okay, I'm not going to scroll through all of the pages. Um, I can't decide if I hate this or love this. It looks like bandanas, but I can guarantee it's probably like polyester. Rayon spandex. Okay, so like not as bad, but look at the... I mean, this one's kind of cute. But I don't know. It just... I can't. Um, and it's made directly for Macy's. Um, I love that they do use, like, not all the same size models. Um, there could be more variety in skin tone. You don't see a lot of faces, but, like, hey, these jeans are cool. Um, and they go up to a 28. That's almost good enough. Um, I wear a 30 or 32, depending on the fit of something. So, it's close, but... Not close enough yet. Um, okay, we got swimsuits. Um, and more formal wear. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should come up here and sort it by size. Okay, plus sizes. Um, okay, 38W. Okay, so they have things that come in my size. So let's pull up. Anything that comes in a 30, 32, 34, 30, no, not 12. I don't want a 12. It'll be everything. Uncheck the 12, please. And a 7, and then a 38. Um, okay. So that is a grand total of 31 items. So this will tell us much better. Um, what is available, uh, for, like, real plus sizes? And look at that. It is 
mostly shapewear. I can't say I'm surprised, but yeah. Um, there are four pieces of actual clothing and then the rest are all shapewear from a brand called InstaSlim at that. So, and none of them are on like a real plus size person either. Um, so that's great. Great. Cool. I, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, get rid of all of those sizes again. Then we're going to go back here to the size plus size and we're going to click on 28. So 4X. And it goes from the 30 to 38, like size 30 to 38, has 31 items total. Um, and size 28, which is a 4X, has 430. That'll just tell you the inequality even just within the plus size um, community. Uh, I would like to know, do these really, they do come up to a 4X, but why does some of it not come at a 4X? I don't know. Um, I just, yeah. Um, let's see. If there, is there anything in this size range, like in a 4X, that I would actually wear because there's definitely nothing in a 5X I would actually wear. Okay, so yeah, definitely got the classic um, fat person Disney characters because that's what we want, right? Um, I would wear these Adidas leggings for sure. I wish they um, changed their size range to five, include five and six X because I would be all over that. I love Adidas stuff. Um, I love their shoes, love their clothing line. Um, I would wear it all the time. I would happily model for them. Um, but they don't and they only go to a four X. So, um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love these gingham pants. Uh, I have, um, I just, I don't know, I, I just want gingham pants or like gingham in my life. Uh, yeah, okay, that's cute. Uh, you don't have to agree, but, um, yeah. I am pretty tired of seeing cold shoulders on plus size. I just like, I want it to die. Um, also these like bat wing sleeves with the handkerchief hem where it's pointy and I just, I, I hate it. Like it's not anything new at all. So yeah. Um, I could identify this as Michael Kors without even having to think about it because of that leopard. Um, these pants are really cool and most times they don't put fat people in busy patterns like this. Like seeing busy patterns on some on someone's butt is not something that happens a whole lot in plus sizes. These pants remind me of the tearaway pants that I had um when I was in eighth grade. Grade eight, yeah. Let's keep going. Where are we on our categories here? Let me check in. How many plus size to straight size items? Okay, so there was um, clear all. Did we sell some? There are 3,399 uh, plus size items. So there was more before. I don't know what happened. Um, in plus size. Now let's go to women, all women's clothing. I wonder if that also includes plus size. Um, so let's go size range and okay. So it does include the plus size. Um, for straight sizes, regular sizes, as they have labeled them here, there is 12,157 items compared to 
3,249. I don't know why the numbers are all different everywhere we click, but they are. Um, now, we're doing pretty good, uh, considering maternity has 50. Um, but sometimes people, pregnant people can get away with just, like, regular dresses that they size up in. But, um, yeah, it's pretty disappointing when there is literally one-third the amount of items. Um, anyways, uh, is the plus size department easy to find? Yes, it's very easy to find and very easy to shop. You just, if you are a plus size person and you're used to shopping online, you know you're never, you're not usually in the women's clothing, but I do like that you can just go to all women's clothing and then just sort for plus sizes. Um, that's kind of nice. Uh, and apparently it sorts a little differently because you get a lot of intimates up first, but, um, yeah, I am not mad about this, that you just can go to one place or you can go to your own department. Um, do they have wide width shoes? Oh, in size range in the plus size department. Well, let's say it stops at 4X because, um, going all the way up to 8X in only shapewear is just wrong. Um, yeah. Anyway, women's, no, women shoes. Let's go over to shoes. All right. Size and, um, width. Okay, so there are wide and extra wide. And I'm going to put in my size, which is... 12. Yes, that's how big my feet are. Um, I think, yeah, anyways. So wide and extra wide, they sell naturalizer, which I know has wide width. Um, okay, you can get these shoes. Do these shoes. Mm, they seal sizes. Okay, so you can get it in, oh, 12 wide is sold out though. But maybe the black. Black in stock. I can get these sparkly ass shoes in my size. I would never wear them, mostly because I would die. Um, I am very clumsy and I have a bum ankle. So I would twist it in a heartbeat in these, but I can buy them, put them on my shelf and admire them, and still be able to put them on and just, you know, hold my feet in the air if I wanted. So that's great. Um, now, let's just see... 12 and then we'll there's 148 um pairs of shoes that come in my size so uh I would say that's pretty great considering mm, the last time I shopped in the women's shoes department was when Payless was still open in Canada and um I had like three pairs to pick from so we're doing pretty dang good, I would say. Ooh, uh, I think I may need these. Mm, why is the leopard? I want the leopard one. Okay, I would buy these, like, now, tomorrow, uh, with the leopard. But 12 wide is, uh, sold out. Um... I think 12 wide is sold out in most of them. I don't like that one. It's too late. Now I'm just shopping. Okay, let's go back. Um, and, oh, there's more leopard. I wouldn't wear those. They would not fit on my feet. I need things that tie up because of my lymphedema, but that's just me. Um, okay, let's see what it's like for someone with a smaller foot but still needs wide width because I am an anomaly. Um, so, uncheck that. Let's say... A nine in wide and extra wide you go up to 525 options for shoes that's pretty freaking awesome these are, I like these your feet would be sweaty as heck but I like those okay um I'm gonna stop admiring the shoes and we're gonna go on to our last question question would I actually purchase anything that came in my size well uh you saw i would definitely purchase some shoes however the um plus size options 
um, for um, for my size, like for a 5X, are non-existent. So no, M maybe that bralette. But pretty much, yeah, all of this is shapewear. All of this is shapewear. And then, like, a, a pair of jeans. I would not wear any of this. I have very strong feelings against shapewear, and it makes me very uncomfortable to wear it. So, I don't wear it. Um, and I'm not about to buy it. I, you know, I would probably wear this bra. Let's see if it actually comes to my size. 30, no, that's not, those aren't sizes. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I would buy this and it would never fit because this isn't a real size. Like 38, 40, that's a band size, maybe. That's not real, it shouldn't be in here. Got my hopes up, Macy's, got my hopes up. Um, No, I wouldn't wear anything from Macy's um, in the clothing department, but I would definitely um, buy the shoes. All right, so that's my um, review of the Macy's plus size department. Um, I think out of all of the large department stores, they're probably the best because I know they've been working towards having more sizes for a long time. Still not as good as it could be, not even close. Uh, it's very disappointing that the only things that come in my size are a cropped pair of jeans, a long sleeve shirt, a top that I hated the pattern of, and shapewear. Just shapewear. So that's pretty disappointing. I would give them like a B plus, you know, not terrible also not that great so um that's my rating if you want to see more of these and have suggestions for other stores that we should give ratings on their plus size department leave it down below because i'm sure on my list i've missed some i don't do a lot of shopping to be honest um i stick to pennington's torrid and mm, that's about it so Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, give it a like. Uh, if you want other people to see it, share it, leave a comment, do all the things, and um, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more from me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye!